it is dry from the last video on this channel. I did want to um, wait uh, until I was going to post this video because um, I, I, I kind of wanted it to to tie in with the previous video with the stenciling and sticking this on um, fake sim. But yeah, it's, it's been about a week now. I said I was going to be about a week uh, to let this dry and you can see I'm... Um, I am uh, rubbing it and it's not coming off, even though it's quite faint in some places, like the nose on this left-hand side, it's not coming off. Um, so this is my setup. This is the wonderful fake skin. This is the shady I did last time um, on my seminar page, but that's not uh, going anymore. But yeah, this is my setup. I've got my inks laid out. I am using Da Vinci needles at the minute, which I'm really enjoying. Um, because I'm using the Bishop Wand shader machine, uh, along with the critical power pack uh, running at nine volts currently, it's a really nice setup, um, especially with the Da Vinci Bishop needles. What's going on? Paint my shoe from Bangkok. Um, so, so yeah, I've got also the um, the iPad of the reference uh, that I use to stencil. Um, if you wanna look at that video of me stenciling that and how to apply that on fake skin, um, go back and watch the video um, before this one. I'm also using dynamic triple black ink, which will be for the for the dark black, so like the hair and and the beard and stuff like that, and the and the proper black parts uh, in the tattoo. What's going on from Iraq? What's going on, Jimbo Phelps, Barling B H U from India? What's going on? Um, and yeah, and then I'm just going to be using like normal black uh, and diluting it down as my grey wash with the dynamic uh, mixing solution. So I'm basically using what I use every day to tattoo. Um, and yeah, please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new. This is gonna be a good one today. I'm gonna to be going live over the whole course of this tattoo. So so yeah, let's crack on. Um, I just wanted to say thank you very much for becoming members of the channel as well. Um, you've got the perks and stuff like that. If you do become a member, you have the perks. And the added perks. Uh, Johnny here, all the way from South Africa. Love your work, mate. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Um, big up South Africa in the house. Uh, what's going on, Froggy McRabbit? McRibbit. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. I'm going to be going over. It's going to be kind of like a seminar, but not too crazy because it's um, it's going to be, uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be a tough one today. Uh, portraits are always tough. I wouldn't really um, advise doing portraits on fake skin, but if you were to do a portrait, uh, what's going on, Adam Scott? I am doing conventions. I'm doing the, the London one. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing the, the Great British Tattoo Show in London in October. So if you are there... Um, Please uh, come and say hello. That would be amazing. Come and get a picture or whatever you want to do. Uh, last time I went to a convention, loads of people wanted to take pictures. And I was kind of embarrassed because I'm not really a, a picture guy in person. So, um, but, you know, it's always good to, uh, to meet you guys. <clears throat> um, yeah, please smash that like button, guys. Please subscribe if you're new. Let's, let's get straight, straight into this. Um, first of all, I'm going to be setting up my ink. So let's spin the camera over. Boom. Um, I did just mix this, but... So the first one is going to be triple black, which is going to be this side. So I'm going to go from left to right with how dark I want my, my ink. So this is from the darkest to the lightest and gradually going light. And then that's my rinse cup over there. I've got the, the normal dynamic black now. And this is the same setup that I use for every tattoo that I do. So this one will be half full. Boom. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops in that one. One, two, three, four, five drops. So half that. And then one, two, 
and then one. I might even just put three in this one. There you go. Um, yeah. And then just because it's fake skin, so I want to make sure it's, uh, it's a bit dark on the second one. And then you just fill this, the rest up, try not to spill it everywhere. You just fill the rest up, same kind of level with the, the mixing solution. And that is essentially my inks. I'm just gonna quickly grab <clears throat> my wash. This is uh, just my normal, my normal rinse, rinse, uh, rinse wash that I use on skin. I'm not gonna be using this today because it's too thin. The 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 way I clean the fake skin is just through uh, normal washing up liquid. I'll just squirt some on. Um, like this, I'll just squirt some on. Wait, let me just, it's quite a hard thing. I'll just squirt some on like this uh, when it's too, and then just rub it in and then wipe it off with a, a fresh, fresh bit of kitchen roll, um, like that. Boom. There we go. Like that, that's, that's how I'll clean the skin today. Um, and you can see the stencil is well and truly on there. Um, okay, let's let's crack on, guys. Let let's uh, let's crack on. I'm going to be starting from the bottom and working my way up, as per usual. Um, I need to adjust this so I can actually work. There we go. And um, yeah, we are ready. So the first. Needle I'm going to be using is going to be a 15 curved magnum. So let me just go over my needles. Sorry, real quick. I haven't done that yet. See, these are the Da Vinci needles I'm using. Um, let's try and keep them in, kind of in order. So I'm using like I, like I know in previous videos I have said that I like quadrant needles. Um, I do love quadrant needles. They're still one of my favourites, but these are pretty much exactly the same but they're just a bit thicker in terms of the plastic. So they can be a bit get like, like they can take a bit get to uh, getting used to, sorry. Um, but yeah, this, but I, I, I do use uh, 0 0.30 bug pin needles as well, which, which is the 10 that you see on here. So I'm using a nine round liner, uh, 0 0.30. I'm also using a three round liner for the really small details. I'm gonna be using a, a nine curved Magnum you can see that there, that's a curve magnum. That's a, that's a 10, uh, 0, 0.30. Then I've got a 15 curve magnum, which is a 0 0.30 as well, which is a 10, which is the 10 on the, the front of this, this code. Uh, long taper, which is the, so CMLT means curve magnum long taper. <clears throat> so you can see that one there. And this is a 0 0.30, which is a 10, 11, Curve Magnum Long Taper as well. And that is my needle setup. That is literally what I'm using today. So I'm going to start by using the 15 Curved Mag. Whack it in the machine. If you don't know how to whack it into, or pop the needles in the machine, you pop it in and you twist to lock it in. And that's locked in. Turn it on, get your, <clears throat> your depth. Now I'm using this. I'm using depth at around that. You can see that there. And that's the depth I, I use. I don't put all that into the skin, obviously, because that's going to be um, very traumatic. I mean, it's fake skin, but in human skin, it would be very traumatic. Um, but yeah, right, I'm going to start by dipping into a light grey wash and I'm just gonna get a feel for this tattoo here so let's go now I haven't used the Bishop one shader in a long time on fake skin so it might hit too hard for my liking but I'm just going to roll with it at the minute and see how smooth I can actually get this to work on this fake skin and on fake skin, you do have to use, you do have to do a lot more passes than you normally would on, on human skin, just to get it as smooth as possible. I kind of like this. I'm probably gonna drop, no, I'm not gonna drop down. I'm gonna try. 
try and carry on with this this level of tone I'm not pressing too hard using the same consistent hand speeds I like to put a bit of um, tissue paper underneath the fake skin as well just to give it some bounce like as if you were tattooing skin human skin just gives it a bit more stability and bounce a bit more of a realistic kind of feel to it this is the second from lightest tone it's still pretty dark to be honest this is the three cup drop three drop cup sorry um Please smash that like button guys, 141 people watching. Really does help the channel out. If you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. 140,000 subscribers now, that's crazy. Really appreciate all you guys sticking with me over these years. I try and get as much information out as possible. If I try something new or discover a new hack or something that makes tattooing easy, I'll always come on here and share it with you guys. I'm also gonna be uploading a video on comparing this machine to the EXO machine that I bought from FK Irons and you'll be surprised on what I think. So I'll be uploading that probably tomorrow or the day after, trying to keep the uploads happening twice a week. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna now go down into the, the dark, the dark, gray not the darkest i've got out but it's going to be dark i'm just going to tap Use the side of the mag here to put this line in as well. You might have to do a few passes over the area just to make it. I'm just going to ch change the needle to one that's a bit less big. So I've got more control. This is a nine now. Uh, go down a couple shades. getting a feel for this again because it's quite I haven't tattooed fake skin in a while and it is a lot different than tattooing human skin so I'm just getting a feel for this machine as well it's a lot different the best machine I've used is the uh, the CNC Wii U tattoo machine that's been really good for me to get a nice smooth transition just because it hits so soft and for fake skin, you do need a soft hitting machine. I'm using the backstroke on this now.
I'm just going to use a liner just to line this back of the neck up. Uh, I'm going to use a nine round liner, actually. I'm just going to see how this hits because I don't want it to be too sharp. So. Um, yeah, man, I'm probably gonna drop the, uh, the voltage down. Voltage on these things are very important. Because fake skin is silicon, you've got more chance to rip it open. Especially if you press too hard, you know. Actually, I'm going to go into the black now. I'm just going to do this line. Really slow. Better. And we've got some, some some sort of black area here. It's going in pretty well. Appreciate the love and support on the video, guys, so far. I'm just stipple shading this little bit of his chin in here. I do like stipple shading as well on these types of tattoos. You can get quite a smooth transition. It's just where you... If you don't know what stipple shading is, this is a really good technique to... If you move your hand a lot quicker, your hand speed a lot quicker, you just create these small tiny dots in the skin, which can... One, it's really good on the skin. Um, it heals fantastically if you don't overwork it. It's quite hard to overwork it as well. With that being said, so if you don't, if you do do it correctly, it can be a very nice technique to add to your arsenal of techniques while tattooing. I'm now going to go back to a 15 curved mag. I'm going to use, I'm going to rinse the needle out. Back over this, smooth it out a bit.
I'm doing a lot of passes over this uh, over this tattoo, and it's not ideal. You wouldn't really do this on real human skin just because it's um, it is so harsh on the skin. I'm just going to keep that needle in actually. Use the uh, side of the mag just to put this in. Layering it up. Hope you're enjoying the video so far, guys. Need some black up here. It's quite dark in this section. I do. Do you know what? I, I I'm constantly assessing this machine and how it's performing. I'm kind of used to it now on fake skin, and I, I I have to say I do I do like this. I do like the machine. I thought it was going to hit too hard, and I was going to have to result back to my previous tattoo machines that I have used on fake skin. That I've got a really good result for, but to be honest, this is pretty good. I can't lie, it is pretty good. Um, as long as you don't do it on human skin, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, if you if you talk to any professional tattooist, uh, that's quite high standard. Um, they will all say, "Oh, yeah. If you was to do what you're doing on fake skin." Because uh, they've all tattooed fake skin. If you used to do what you do on fake skin, like the skin would be shredded. Because there's just so many passes. Like it's the same technique, it's the same kind of thing, but it just doesn't sit in the the fake skin as well as it would in on on real skin, on human skin. Like that's just that's just the way it is. It's because it's silicon, you know. You need a few passes to open it up and to get the the ink to sit in there, but. This is the best skin I've used. This is called real skin. It's very confusing because it's not human skin. I'm not um, saying it's human skin. It's it's like it's called real skin, as in R double E L. Uh, I'll put everything in the description after this video. But it really does get you to, to practice your smooth shading and stuff like that. You know, your, your consistent hand speed, motions, etc., etc. It is, it is very good to, uh, to do that with. You gotta also make sure you rinse your needle out after every every uh, everything you do, especially going from a dark colour to a light colour because you really will start to see that in this because obviously the skin doesn't go red because it's fake. You'll really start to no notice your 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 ink stay in the same kind of colour, you know. Um, right, I'm just gonna drop down to a. A three, I think. Three round liner. Now, with three round liners, they can open this skin right up. So just make sure you go really, really light on this, guys. Literally, the lightest touch can set it off. I've got a bit of his hair there, curly hair. Why did you stop using Empire Ink? It's just too thick for me, mate, to be honest. It's just too thick. That's what she said. Um, yeah, it's just too thick, man. Like, 
just wasn't for me. It just was not for me. It's really hard to, obviously, I, you know, I pride my, my work off my stencil and if my stencil starts to rub off because I'm rubbing the ink so much off of the skin or trying to, then it's, you know, it's not a good ink for me. Um, the colour was amazing, the tone was amazing, the saturation was amazing, but it's literally just because it's too thick. That's why I use Dynamic, because it's it's got a great um, thickness to it, and it's also um, really easy to wipe off the skin. Got some little bits of chain here. Bit of a shadow. See that now. Let me just move this up because it's slowly slipping down. Boom. Do you like to have it over the tissue because it does emulate skin. Uh, what do you uh, what do you feel about Manchester? I mean, Man yeah, Manchester City being in for Cristiano Ronaldo. If you're football fans or soccer fans, I'm disgusted. <laughs> being a Man United Man United fan, I'm disgusted. I really hope Ronaldo doesn't do it. But if Man United don't want him, then do you blame him? Do you blame him? Right, I'm just going to turn to this. Way here. Whoop. Ever so lightly in there. Now I'm going to turn to my 15 curved. No, no, I'm not actually. I'm going to turn to my 11 curved magnum. No, I'm not. It's a nine curved magnum. Sorry. I'm going to wash it out, and I'm going to use the rinse wash because that's obviously got ink in it. And I'm going to use the rinse wash to do this really light tone here. See how wash wash that is. Let's see what this comes out like because this is just an experiment right now. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice and light. So now my 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 ink, my wa my wash cup that I'm washing out my inks with, that is now turning into my lightest grey wash. So there you have it. Right, so for the beard, guys, I'm going to be going back to the three-round liner, and I'm just going to be sticking this beard in now. Oh, that's not three-round liner, that's a nine-round liner. Three-round liner, solid black. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just literally doing little tight curls. Not going too hard either. Please smash that like button. Thank you very much. You hit a hundred likes. That's amazing. Got a bit of a patch there. Um, yeah, we're gonna crack on in here now. 
literally just going, using the tight swells. I'm going to give them too much of a thick beard because it is quite patchy and we're just trying to go for a realistic as much realistic approach as possible. Some bits are thicker than others, some bits aren't. turn it off give it a good old scrub so this is how i do it bang straight on there like that and you just rub it in rub it in like that boom get a fresh kitchen roll and you just give it a, a smooth wipe down and that's how i do it that's how we do it makes it way cleaner to do uh, to do that than uh, using your actual rinse bottle all these little tricks smash a like on the video for more please hit that bell button as well to get notifications I'm just gonna thicken that bit up in there I like to dab as well I actually dabbed I'm glad the camera wasn't on me I'm not going in any kind of direction with this as I'm doing this beard. As long as I'm getting in the main parts of the flow, which are in my stencil, you don't have to worry too much. I'm going to be doing more videos like this, guys. So please smash a like on the video if you do want more of these types of videos. We're doing different artists. Uh, I'm kind of filling this, this bit of... Uh, Bit of fake skin up. My machine keeps making a funny sound. It keeps going noisy and then so it's something loose inside, but it still works fine. So I'm not too fussed at the minute. But hopefully Bishop, it doesn't give out on me. It's getting there. The beard is getting there. <clears throat> I'm liking how this is turning out so far. I'm liking how this wand is performing on fake skin. It's always good to put, see how squidgy that is. It's always good to, uh, to put down some tissue to make sure that it's not too, too hard. Cause obviously this is a hard kitchen surface here. I'm doing this in my kitchen, so. Just be wary of that. It's nice to just put a bit of padding down in the form of kitchen roll. Squirrelies on there, little noodles. Look like little noodles. Fancy some noodles. That I do, that I do. It's got a sick beard though. He's a bit patchy. You need some minoxidil if you're watching this, Kendrick. What's going on, Sasha Hika? Thank you very much for the five uh five dollars mm. donation. That's amazing. I hope you're well. I hope you're doing very well on this fine morning. Well, it's actually the afternoon here. Constantly got Sky News Sports on because it's a, it's a big day for football here in the UK. And if you are over in the UK, it's a, it's a uh, very big sport. Very passionate sport here in the UK. Well, I'm just going to... 
come up with this small little flicks, not too deep, just small ones. But we're going to shade through that anyway, so you start to notice. Just a bit patchy through here and then it goes thicker again to so we'll concentrate thickness around here uh, I'm gonna now go into the outline of this Cut the silicon, that's good. Still using solid black on here. And this is how I would do it on human skin. I'd use the same needles, the same kind of techniques, the same. It's just the passes I wouldn't do as much because obviously you just hurt the, 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 the human skin. Um, yeah, so you just got you just gotta be careful really. So many Kendrick Lamar songs are going through my head right now. Oh, we've got low battery. We've got low battery going on, guys. Sorry about that. The reference next to it, yeah, it's, um, I mean, there's only so much, you know, it's, it's, it's a cross between get, getting close enough to see my technique and see what I'm doing and then there's it's a cross between panning the camera out and trying to get everything in, you know, like including my ink cups and stuff like that. Uh, and I think in terms of references, um, you know, if you was clever about it, I suppose you could just... You could... Uh, I'm going to use a bit of a bigger noodle in the hair. That's what I like to call it. Curly hair. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I think, like, it's just a... It's a, it's a, it's a hard one. It's, it's a hard one to cross between getting close enough to see what I'm doing and then yeah and then panning out and not seeing what I'm doing but seeing the reference um, but you can see the you can find the image online if you do want to follow it along I am going to change to a nine round now. I'm going to rinse my cup out, rinse my needle out, sorry. And I'm going to go in with a, a lighter tone. I'm just going to start to... Come in here with this now. These little shapes in the air couple passes over both. Mm, go up a tiny bit.
What to use for the different tones of grey? Um, if you rewind on the video, you can see my ink set up, mate. Everything is in the video. Um, after the video, you can rewatch this as well and you can see what I use. Um, but yeah, I use dynamic black. I use my own drop system. I'd love to be, I'd love to have my own artist series with dynamic black. That'd be amazing, to be honest. But I can't see that happening. <clears throat> I might just have to make my own ink, eh? I'm going to change to a Magnum now. What brand of skin? It's real skin. R double E L skin. Best fake skin out there, in my opinion. as well. We got a nice ear coming along. I'll tell you what guys. This, this wand shader is performing extremely well, extremely well. I just, it's just the best machine I've ever used. Uh, like it's, I'm not even being paid to endorse this machine, like anything like that. It's ju it just is. It just is the best machine I've ever used. It really is, guys. Get some more washing up liquid. This is how I wash it down. I'm just going to fill that. You can start to see the depth now coming through with this. Then we'll get onto the face afterwards. That is coming in nice. I'm going to give it a bleach bath as well after this. I'm liking how this is. Uh, what's going on, mate? Black sheep, what is going on? How are you doing? I can't have that like that. Oh, it's just slipping down because it's quite heavy. It's quite a big piece of fake skin, this. Shout out to Real Skin also, who supplied me with this fake skin to do this for you guys today. they the real goats. They the real goats. Right, I'm going to swap now for the three round liner again, guys, just so I can get some more hair on the face. I'm just doing a little like figure of eights. layering up the bits that are darker. I have bad tattoos because I let other artists practice on me. I've got bad tattoos as well because I practiced on myself, <laughs> basically. It happens to the best of us, my man. And then what I'll do, guys, I'll leave this for an hour in a bleach. I'll soak bleach on this, toilet bleach, like thick toilet bleach for an hour and a half maybe. And then I'll go back into it because the bleach will lighten the tones up a bit but i'll go back into it and see where i need to thicken up see where i need to put more in etc etc and yeah then we'll if you head over to my instagram 
Um, I'm starting raffles over there as well to in order to uh, to win some some machines. So if you want to be entered in a raffle, details will be dropped soon. So yeah, go over to my Instagram. It's my name at Oliver Air. It's a three round liner, mate. It's a 0 0.30 as well, so it's really tight. It's a bug pin. And it is a Da Vinci needle. Some direction on this in these lips. going to do these bits because these are rubbing off a bit. I didn't want them to rub off even more. So forgive me for jumping all over the place. But it, I got to do it. Finish putting this beard in here. Well, I'm going to change to nine curve mag. Uh, fake skin to real skin is pretty similar. This one's pretty similar, but I would suggest putting some stuff underneath like this to just soften it a bit, to give it some bounce like actual human skin. And... 
I would also um, just watch how many passes you do because the passes aren't that accurate from fake skin to real skin, human skin. No, I've stayed in this area very long. I mean, it's pretty, it is pretty good, but yeah, you just gotta be, the passes on some parts to get really smooth is pretty, pretty hard. Like that's not too bad. If you was doing that in human skin, that wouldn't be too bad, but. I'm just going to, uh, just gonna pop my charger in because guys, <laughs> it's not good. this cable over to there. I think we're now charging. That's good. Oh. Do you still have your classes? I don't. You can I've still got my course you can uh, you can go with which is basically what I'm showing you now. Um, I still have my course available to uh, to buy, um, just send me a DM on Instagram and I can head you in the right direction. I'm just offering it through PayPal payments now because the site is down, which is very annoying. But it's probably the most simple and infor informative tattoo shop on the internet, in my opinion as well. Everything I'm doing here, I teach in my course or my online courses. There's hours and hours of, <clears throat> of uh, video content, about 30, 40 videos to get, to get through. But again, like guys, what I have to stress is <clears throat> I can show you how to tattoo, but it's what you do with the information. It's how you then progress yourself. And a lot of artists don't tell you that. I can show you everything I, I know. I can tell you everything I know with tattooing, but it's up to you with what you do with that information. You know, if you've got the initiative to, to, to really learn and to, to push yourself out of your boundaries, then like, like, like I remember I did, then you do have the ability to become a tattooist. If you don't have that quality inside yourself, there's, there's just no point.
Coming together. I'm sitting here watching this video, making a sense at the same time. I think it's a a blow time, a blow time. Never heard of that time before. A blow time, about time. I'm just going through this beard with this really light shade. to add his skin tone in there. brand of skin is that it's real skin my friend r e e l skin real skin the best skin on the market in my opinion it's very good though very 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 good Otherwise, I would not be using it, guys. I've tried, I've tested, and it's conquered. And you can see it's bloody brilliant. How close would you say it's to real skin? No pun intended. I think, do you know what? It's, it's pretty close. I think that's the, I used a pound of flesh before, if you know that brand. Um, I didn't like it because it's so hard. This has got a bit more softer texture to it. Obviously, it's still hard. It's silicon, but it's still a, it's a bit bouncy. It's a bit looser, you know. That's what she said. It's a bit looser, like, and for me, that is a winner, winner, chicken, bloody dinner for me, anyway. Um, and 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 because with 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 fake skin, you have to really choose. You really have to. You really have to set up your your setup in a sense of you have to find out how how smooth the how smooth well how soft the fake skin is, and then you need a machine to to adapt to that because 
Machines are used and built for human skin, right? Now, human skin's got flesh. You've got the fat layer, you've got the muscle layer, you've got the skin as well, you know? And it's a different canvas every time. Now, with fake skin, you get different textures and different layers, I guess, but it's equally, uh, it is equally, what's the word I'm trying to look for? It's, it's very impor important to then find a machine that's soft enough to, to make sure it doesn't um, hit the skin too hard and, and rip this, the fake skin as well. There's so many different factors to finding a good fake skin, but that's where I come in. You know, that's, where, that's, that's why I make these types of videos, so you don't have to experiment with those. I've spent years of experiment, different setups. You probably, I've had clients say to me, I don't think you've tattooed me with the same machine twice. Like, I, I, just, I just haven't. And that's because I'm constantly trying to find the best, the best setup for beginner, the best setup for myself. You know what I mean? And it's that that I, I, I look for and... And, and that's why I do these videos is, is because I want to do the, the dirty work for you guys just so you don't make the same mistakes kind of thing, you know? Um, but yeah, this is real skin and I, am, I have used this machine on this before, very, very long time ago. Um, I did find it quite, quite difficult, to be honest, to, to tattoo, but, you know, given my skill level's probably gone up and, and such, I'm finding it a lot easier than I did before. Um, and again, the setup changed. I'm not using as high voltage and, and stuff like that. I'm using different inks. I, was, I think I used, um, I think I used uh, in my last video. I think I used um, Empire inks, um, and it's just working so good today. Um, again, as well, I left the stencil drying a lot longer than I did last last time there's all these different factors that do help your experience with tattoo and fake skin you don't have to worry when you leave your stencil to you don't have to worry about how many passes you're going over it because you, it might rub the stencil off it's it's fine it's fine now And then the foundation underneath this hair. I'm going to go a bit darker with this bit. Because it's a bit darker on the reference. Uh, and I'm going to wash my own knee light, son. Um, if you want to know my setup and stuff like that, please watch the video again. You can watch the setup. I'm choosing a backstroke here. It's a very nice technique to get a nice smooth blend. It's a David Vega technique. That's what he uses. pushing forward into the skin here. Smooth. Do you still love you? Yeah, I do. Do you know what it is? Do you know why I don't, I don't use that machine anymore? It's because it's just so uncomfortable to use. Because this machine goes straight up and it hasn't got a bend in it. That's what she said. There's a lot of she said jokes going on today. I'm sorry, I'm, I apologize. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's this. I just find these types of machines way easier to use and way more comfortable to tattoo with. It's just a lot easier. Hell of a lot easier to to tattoo with these. Uh, Thank you. 
Please smash that like button, guys. Please subscribe if you're new. I appreciate every one of you. 140,000 subscribers now. I like how we've built a community to, uh, to help each other out and to, to grow, you know. These eyes looking very weak. Mm, they're not too bad. I mean, I'm rubbing them and they're not coming off. So left it a nice length of time. Um, Black Sheep, let your work for yourself. You've got to become your biggest fan. And then, yeah, you do, mate, to be honest. You ha do you know what it is? For me, I've always said this from the get-go. You have to be very confident in your own ability to smash it, to, to, to go into that tattoo now, and you're going to kill the game with that tattoo. Um, and nine times out of ten, when you've got that own self-belief, you will smash it. You will absolutely smash it. And you'll come away with that and thinking, yeah, I like this. I do. I like this. I like how this has turned out. And then... It's on, and then you, you sort of assess yourself, assess how you could have done things a little bit better, whether that's slow your hand speed down a bit more, slow, um, you know, just sort of sl take more time with the piece maybe. That's one thing I've always said to myself. I'm quite fast and I think that if I had big tattooists say you need to slow down, you'll get way better. Um, but I mean, I've tried slowing down. It's just, it's just hard for me to, to slow my natural speed down, I guess. But, but one thing I have slowed down is my hand speed with my techniques. And that has just improved my game tenfold, really. Consistent hand speeds, man. You gotta be consistent. consistency in my hand strokes light tone now guys as I'm doing my strokes as well I'm following the direction of the cheek like this it's da da di da di da 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 dee da dee da.
And he's black in here now because this is very dark. Should be using a smaller needle here, but I've got quite good mag control, so I'm cold, but I will drop down in a minute. I'm going to drop down to a, I'm going to go to a three round liner. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to smash these eyes in now. Eyes are the business end of a tattoo for my, for me. If you fuck the eyes up, that's it. It's game over, boys. You may as well just pack your bags and take your bags and get out of here. You know? I'm using a three round line on this part very trying to stay very still with this Um, right, okay, so I'm going to change to a bigger needle just so it's a bit softer and it's not too, too, too dark for the little eyelid underneath, the little bag that he's got under his eye. I'm just going to feather this in. Go a tiny bit darker. Mm. 
change into a small mag. This is a nine, I think. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna go in with the black now and just blacken this part up. Fill this bit in. Rinse my needle out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry if I'm a bit quiet, guys. I'm just trying to concentrate on this. Trying to get this right. On fake skin as well, you can go back over it if you if you don't think it's dark enough, just to try and get the, the depth that you want. You can always do that on fake skin. On human skin, you that's why people do second second or third passes just to Appreciate the love on the uh, on the video, guys. I really do. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the support. Thank you for sticking with me on this one. I know it's a long video, but hopefully you're learning some some tricks of the trade, as it were. It's quite therapeutic to watch, I'm sure. I'm using the ink wash on this background, so it's super, super, super light. I'm not dipping into any of my inks, I'm using the actual ink wash. And this is how light it's coming out. Double layering it if I need to. Just add 
have some depth to the piece now. I'm gonna do that same same thing here. Smooth this out a bit. Hello uh, from Ukraine. Appreciate that comment, mate. Thank you very much for the support. going up to the outside of this ear just so I'm not going into the ear just to keep that two separate tones away from each other I'm just going to give it a wipe down, see what we're working with here. This is the way I wipe down. Okay. To do this other eye now. I like how this is turning out. It's looking like Kendrick, so that's good. Let me know, please. See, this is what it's looking like so far. It's not working. Are we back in, are we back in the, it lagged out for a minute there guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my phone, I think, got a bit hot. Um, we're back. Thank good. Thank, thank, thank good. Thank God. Um, yeah. So, yeah. What I was saying is, um, yeah, your stencil is so important when you're when when you're doing a piece. Uh, it's so so important. It's blurry. Is it blurry? It's probably internet connection just coming back. Um, yeah, right, let's do this other eye anyway. Then we can go into the nose a bit more. And uh, yeah, let's just get this eye in though. While we're here, while the internet's good. Let's push this back, back here.
using a three again. Thanks for confirming that it's all good. Um, I would, yeah, I mean, I'm tattooing the same way. I'm just trying to re read your comments. I'm tattooing the same way as I would tattoo this on someone's skin, like using the same needles, etc. But with fake skin, sometimes you do have to, sometimes you use um, too many passes. On fake skin, you will need to put passes in the fake skin to make it look a certain way. You know, to make it really smooth, you'll have to go over it a lot more than you would need to on human skin. But to get the same kind of desirable effect, um, it's the same kind of it's the same kind of uh, effect that I would stop at. As if I was tattooing human skin. It's fairy dish liquid, it is. It's fairy washing up liquid. That's what I'm using to to wash wash it all down. Big shout out to Kendrick Lamar as well if he ever watches this. I appreciate you, dog. He's an amazing artist, very, very, very talented. And that's why I'm tattooing him, because he's on my hit list for tattooing him, as it were. Thank you for the support in the video, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Appreciate you. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new. And feel free to become a member. Support the channel, keep it going. Um, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please smash that like button and I will know that you want to see more videos like this one. Well, I need to hold this down because it's going a bit blurry. I can see where I was going. Just get that 
line in there. Uh, okay, so we have some small lines here. Just gonna quickly do a couple passes over here like this. Go to a small needle now, small mag. I'm going to be using a black in here, I think. I'm going to use a bigger mag now just to cut the time down and how long it takes for me to put this black in. I appreciate the uh, the super super chat there. Thank you very much. I haven't I haven't auctioned off any of my skins. I didn't think people would want to buy them. To be honest, never put them up for sale. Um, yeah, I just didn't think anyone would want to want to buy a bit of silicon. <laughs> Got some pearl liquid in there now. It's getting a bit dark. Struggling to see where I'm going. Let's get this black in here. fully saturate this as well. I think that's one thing I struggle with is fully, fully saturating black areas without, you know, really messing up someone's skin. I think it's just because I'm impatient, maybe. I just tend to...
I'm using 8.5 volts, by the way, guys. Was using nine, but it's a bit too fast, really, for fake skin. Just felt it, just tugging a bit. my needle out. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Appreciate the support on this video, guys, as always. Just going over the bits now, just to make sure they're fully saturated. Getting the last bit of shade in. Thank 
Appreciate the love, guys. Let's get this eye in the top here. Do you think power supply? Nah. I was very skeptical with these batteries and they're brilliant. Very, very brilliant. Consistent power. Very, very, very nice to use. I've only used the criticals. Haven't used anything else. So I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, these, these critical batteries are unbelievable to be honest. I've only got one battery and it literally lasts me like 10 hours. It's very, very good. Very, very impress impressive. I'm going to actually just change to bigger needle now. whack in the second from darkest color now
I'm going to use black up here, I think, next to this. You self-taught? Yeah, yeah, I'm self-taught. I'm self-taught. Self-taught tattooist. Didn't do art or nothing like that. Well, I did art for GCSE in school, but that's about it. It's not much. You didn't really learn much. You just basically, people just used it as a DOS lesson, you know, just messed around, didn't do nothing. It's very chill in the art lessons. I did stuff though because I just loved drawing, but I'd normally copy my favourite football player at the time, Cristiano Ronaldo. I'd do loads of portraits of him. And different different things. Appreciate the love and the support on this video. Subscribe if you're new. I'm just filling this in now with black. I'm probably going to have to go back over this. I'm going to give it a bath. <laughs> bath in bleach after this video ends. Uh, and then just go back over some bits just to saturate it, make sure it's all nice and solid and there's nothing missing. Um, so if you want to check out the final, the final piece, the final final product please hit me up on instagram uh it's just at oliver air um it's the same same as my uh, youtube channel name so go and check that out see the final piece finished piece hanging off the uh, the edge here. I do kind of want to leave a bit of texture in this. I don't want to do it too smooth. So I'm just moving my hand a bit quicker just to get a bit of needle texture in there. Just so it looks a bit like a hat. Um, I'm do the little bits around the eye here. Make sure they're all nice and full and solid.
Sweet Caroline. Right, I'm just gonna give it a good old wash down. It's good. Just washing up liquid. I'm gonna put some shading in the eye. A bit of shading around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. I'm wearing a white top. Maybe should not have worn a white top for this. But it is what it is. Okay, so this is what it's looking like at the minute. I'm just going to put a bit of shading in this eye, very slight. I'll use a smaller needle for that. Use a knife. I'm just going to rinse it out. And I'm going to be using the now I'm gonna go with some bits I need to push this up this bloody keeps slipping appreciate that comment mate I do try my best. To share knowledge throughout the tattooing world. Going back over this some bits. Some bits. Making them darker. Getting some true depth in there now.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna give it one last rub down. One last rubber dub down. Let's have a look. <clears throat> I'll give it a bleach bath. Oh wait, I need to put the uh, background shading in around the outside. And then that's pretty much in then. I've literally just put more ink onto the piece <laughs> using a dirty tissue. I'm going to give it a bleach bath just to get rid of this stencil. I'm just going to put some background in around the top of his head. I'm using the rinse cup on this. <clears throat> so it's super, super light. Boom. Okay, I think I am happy with that. Okay. 
I'm pretty happy with that, I think, guys. Sweet. Let's give it one last rinse down and that will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I have really enjoyed doing this, to be fair. Um, it's been pretty, pretty informative for me, pretty fun to do. It's good uh, being back live again. Uh, please smash that like button if you want to see more of these types of videos. And um, yeah, that is Kendrick Lamar on fake skin. Oh. Appreciate everyone that sent uh, super chats as well. Please become a well. Please uh, become a member to, to support the channel to keep it going. Um, yeah, amazing. I'll just take you off the the stand. There we are, Kendrick Lamar. That's the reference. I'm going to now just give this a bleach um, and then probably go back into it. I'm probably going to do this eye a bit more, um, put a bit more darker in here, maybe just to pop it out like I have done in this, this side. But yeah, appreciate it, guys. 